um, your dog will put the front paws on here and the back end will spin around. Let, let us show you how it's done. Come on, Nick, right here. Put your paws on here. Nice. Okay, ready? Very good. Let me show you how we did that. I began by showing Mick the platform, or perch, and if he showed any interest in it, as he is now, I gave him a treat. I like to use a clicker. You don't have to use a clicker. You can just treat quickly, or you can say, yes, good dog, or whatever your marker word is. Um, then I required Mick to put both paws on it, and I clicked. Here, let's watch that again. When he did that, I clicked both paws. The big breakthrough was when Nick realized that I was rewarding any movement of his hind feet. And uh, the first time it took a lot of patience. It looks like this. Put your paws up. Yes. Okay, so he does it now. He overdoes it. But the first time he did it, it was just one little step. And I just rewarded two steps, a few more steps. If your dog won't move, uh, for example, uh, Mick does only go pretty much only goes in one direction. I did work. Yeah, there he goes. There he goes. Not as easy. We have to work on that one. Um, if your dog is reluctant to move, you can try. You can try stepping yourself, and then gradually requiring the dog to move alone. So your dog will try to face you. See. So you can try that, or you can try taking a. Um, a PVC pipe, a small uh, stick of some kind that your dog doesn't play with, and uh, reaching out and nudging the backside. Uh, you could try nudging with your leg, but uh, patience works really well too because your dog will get frustrated and will try something, and eventually one of those back paws will move. Pause up. And uh, what the movement of the hand becomes the signal. I actually don't have a verbal command for this one. Perch work is used as a foundation for teaching freestyle behaviors and uh, agility behaviors, uh, like twirling to sit left or twirling to sit right, uh, placing at the sides. And um, I actually used this uh, hind end awareness, is what it's called. It makes your dog conscious that sometimes you want him or her to place the back paw uh, somewhere, move the back paw. I used it to help me get Mick to uh, ride on the skateboard with three paws and using the fourth paw to push. So um, it came in really handy that I had taught him some high-end awareness.